So today is Sunday, June 23rd. <laughs> Let's just ignore the fact that I haven't posted in, what, five months? I apologize for that. You know how busy I am. And I just now recently started up my makeup business again. So prom season was last semester, very, very busy season, along with nursing school and then my other part-time job. I just wanted to make this video, you know, another vlog, but kind of like a recap of last semester of fundamentals and gerontology for us. Basically, I passed. <laughs> my whole clinical group passed. It was a good experience. I mean, you know, it was the basic taking care of the senior citizens in the assisted living home. I wanted to share one funny story with you. It was me and Catherine. <laughs> We were partnered up and we had to give a patient a bed bath. He was bed bound, so you know, we start to undress him and you know, we're wiping down his arms, his chest, his belly, and then we finally get to the downstairs area. <laughs> we look down there and I don't see a penis. And I was like, where is it, Catherine? <laughs> Like, all I saw was sack. Like, what is that, testicles? All I saw was testicles, and that was it. I was like, Catherine, where is it? <laughs> we were dying. Like, I, I applaud Catherine for that. That will always be a story I will laugh at. It's just part of the learning experience. Um, I never found out what happened to... The penis and where it was but we got them cleaned up so that's all that matters june and july semester we're taking psych well psych mental <laughs> health my clinical classmates are here <laughs> i'm gonna include them in a second but um we're taking psych this semester or mental health we are doing our psych clinicals at a psychiatric hospital there's like multiple lodges we went to one lodge last weekend which was a chronic lodge so um, it was mostly older people with disorders that have been there a long time this weekend we're in the acute lodge which is much younger people the energy is like way higher there there's a lot more going on i know y'all are wondering like what have y'all seen like have y'all seen anything crazy yes <laughs> the other lodge we were in last weekend there was a patient who punched multiple nurses and this was before seven o'clock in the morning like the patient punched three nurses before 7 a.m and then they had to go home or something like that because they were hurt so that was scary everybody was like nursing students <laughs> <laughs> say hi kid <laughs> Rude. <laughs> Hold on. Give <laughs> some gum. Uh, hi. Say good morning. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, let me see if I have gum. Hold on. Uh, do I... Is that your first? No, I don't have any. Oh, I'm sorry. I have almonds. Ew. <laughs> That was my love, Candace. But it was like, yeah, nursing students stay away from that patient. And so when that patient came around, we were so scared. Like the patient was, you know, walking through the hallway. We'd be like pressed up against the wall. And we're like, oh, please don't hurt me. And then yesterday in the new lodge, we saw a patient who had a little outburst. Me and three other students were in the nurse's station that was kind of protected by a box of windows around us. So obviously that area is locked. The patient was like yelling. I was like, oh God. The patient was punching windows outside of the nurse's station. And then he punched two of the windows on the nursing station. And it was really, really loud, but thankfully the windows didn't break. Our nursing instructor said oh, the patient has a long history there and he has destroyed units before so that was scary like <laughs> i don't i don't mean to be such a like a wuss or anything you can't be a wuss when you're a nurse it's not that i'm ruling out psych nursing at all it's just 
is scary. And I mean, the whole nursing career is scary because you never know what you're gonna get. But that's my take on that. I like it so far, I really do. It's different from, you know, fundamentals, of course, and Jero, because that was the basics, and now we're, you know, a step up. Um, we've taken one mental health test so far. Uh, we have one test tomorrow. Usually when I get here, I get here at the psych hospital about maybe 30 minutes early and I'll kind of study my objectives, study for my test or whatever. What we need, oh, it's almost seven o'clock, hold on. <laughs> so we are currently on break and we have 20 minutes. So I'm just sitting in my car, but I'm gonna continue from what I said this morning. For clinical, we have to have our hair up in a bun because my lecture teacher actually told us that a student got her scalp ripped off because a patient like grabbed her hair or grabbed her ponytail or something and yanked it a little too hard and then we have to cover up our tattoos of course and I have a band-aid on my neck tattoo in the back here also we have to cover our last name on our name badge uh, just because the patients will look you up and search you up on the internet and then find out where you live and stuff and go after your house we don't want that we are doing some volunteer hours we need at least four to six volunteer hours at you know like the Salvation Army, Goodwill, his house, the food pantry. Also when we get to clinical we do two conversations that are called IPRs and we're supposed to record everything that we say and use therapeutic communication. And what else? We have to take another dosage calculation test again which is next week which is what I gotta study for too. And what else do we need? I don't know, I really can't think right now because I'm hungry and I just want lunch already. And we leave for lunch every time we get a break. Um, we get an hour for lunch on these clinical days, so. <laughs> I love her. Um, we went to Texas Roadhouse yesterday and that was fun. <laughs> 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 just a typical day in the clinical setting here we do you know help out just the nurses and the nurse techs with whatever they want us to do um, pass out food trays record vitals um what else just talk with the patients um let them talk about whatever they want to talk about with us and express their feelings and do some fun stuff uh, like singing they sing a lot here and especially in this lodge we're at this weekend they sing a lot um listen to music watch tv and please ignore the redness on my face and my neck no they're not hickeys a patient asked me that today they were like um you're trying to hide something on your neck i was like these are not hickeys <laughs> skin shows it. It knew that I had to take this dosage calculation test today. I'm pretty sure that's the reason why, but please don't mind this. Please don't get distracted. But I just took my dosage calc test. We do have to take one every semester so we can give meds to our patients in clinical. As in the previous clip you saw, there was Catherine. She has not taken her test yet, but she wanted me to, you know, discuss with her how that went. I'm currently not in the room with her. Right now, she's in the other room because she's studying. I don't wanna be rude and disrupt her study time. So that is really what I wanted to update y'all on and just inform y'all so you know about, you know, if you wanna do this nursing program or whatever, I don't know how it is in other schools, but my school requires a test every semester. I also wanted to mention that me and Catherine did our volunteer hours last night. We knocked all four hours out in one afternoon which was so hard, surprisingly it was so hard because we went to the Salvation Army and we helped out in their warehouse. I might insert a clip I took on my Snapchat. I 
that was so hard because we were out in the warehouse, it was hot. We were literally sitting in our own sweat. It was fun because I was with Catherine. I'm glad we got to volunteer for them. We had to write a minimum two page paper on our volunteering hours. I just submitted that a couple days ago. I did it before our volunteering. I'm not usually a procrastinator, so I try to get that done and turned in early. <laughs> Saturday. Mm. I need to mention my honorable mentions for Starbucks. This is the venti iced chai tea latte with two blunt, two blunts, <laughs> with two blonde espresso shots, four pumps of chai, and cold salted foam on top. Mm. So. I just had to go and grab this. This is my go-to at Starbucks for when I don't have my bang drinks. And I was gonna get a bang because it's at the gas station that's like right near me, but I was I was feeling for treating myself a little bit, you know. Um, but it is currently 608. I know my clinical classmates are gonna watch this video and like be like, what the hell is she doing there at six in the morning? We're not supposed to be here until like seven. But today's the last day of clinical for my mental health class. Yay! <laughs> I'm supposed to do a group project and the group project is supposed to have everybody get up and dance and move around and get involved and participate. But I don't know how that's gonna go. Last night, I was getting out of the shower mm. and I stepped on something sharp. I don't know what it was, but I like stepped on it and I screamed and my boyfriend's over there laying in the bed and he's like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> what is wrong with you? I was like screaming and then he comes over there. He pulls out the little whatever I stepped on. As soon as he pulls it out, my foot is like bleeding. Like... <laughs> I'm holding my foot up and the blood is like running down my whole foot. I'm like, oh my god. It hurts so bad. And so last night my heel was throbbing and it hurt to walk. And this morning's okay, but I just wonder how this project's gonna go. <laughs> and I do have some cheese balls here. Because we're giving prizes out and little gift bags. Cheese balls, what else did we get them? Notebooks, let's see, 612. Probably gonna work on my paper since I brought my laptop this morning and since I'm extra, extra early. Um, I'm gonna show you all the assignments we have to do in our papers. Okay, y'all, so I'm going to show you all my documents that you're supposed to turn in. Um, I feel like those policemen with the computers in their car. <laughs> okay, so. We have to do a community volunteer service assignment. This is two pages only. You'll have rubrics and everything to go by, but this is about that, whether it's at like Goodwill, Salvation Army, whatever. Um, this is the 
community support group observation report. You're supposed to go to a support group like AA or um, Alcoholics Anonymous or Overeaters Anonymous. Yeah, you have to just answer these questions here. There's a little rubric at the end there. Then once you get into clinical, you have to do this IPR, interpersonal process recording. It has to be at least three pages. So it's just like a regular conversation and then include these at the end. You have to do two of these, just two conversations and a data tool. We did a lot of these last semester in uh, Fundamentals and Jero, but this semester we only had to do one. So there's a bunch of questions you have to answer here. Assessment. Coping mechanisms, it's just a bunch of stuff. Lab work here, and then the concept map. So fill this out, pretty self-explanatory. Um, and you'll use your a reference book for this. Uh, and then interventions and rationales, you have to at least have three of these for each three problems. And you have to also include a med sheet for the data tool. So medications, everything about the medications, why they take them. Promote sodium intake? No, you just keep it the same. Well, you have to be aware of it because if you get too much, there's no lithium effect. Like, how much is going in? Like, it makes you get more or something? You're not going to get too much. You have to monitor. That's why they...